5th August. Uh, it's two years since the uh, government of India changed the status of Jammu and Kashmir, revoking the special status it had under the constitution. Uh, we have with us a special guest, uh, Mr. Yusuf Tarigami, uh, former MLA of the uh, CPIM from Jammu and Kashmir. He's also the spokesperson uh, of the PAGD and its convener. Uh, welcome to the show, uh, Mr. Tarigami. Mr. Tarigami, uh, have the people of Kashmir adjusted to the new regime? Have they adjusted to the absence of the protection of Article 370? in the last two years? I, I, I think, uh, you see, first of all, we must understand what the new situation is, what exactly has been done to the people of Jammu uh, and Kashmir. And uh, that has to be a little analyzed properly. See, it's not the question of one provision of the constitution getting removed. It is exactly the very bond of our relationship, relationship of the people of Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh with the Union of India. That is the bond. And this was the legitimate guarantee provided by the Constituent Assembly of India, which came into being soon after the country got independence. Now, uh, Constitution still remains a guide for all of us. Right. And this has been not quite same as far as people of Jammu and Kashmir are concerned. It seems as if constitution of Jammu and, Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir, it was abrogated, but also the constitution of India was not working, is not working in this region of the country. You see, otherwise, ordinarily, whenever any state got divided, new states got constituted, Constitutional, it was mandatory to refer it to the people's opinion, to the concerned population, concerned legislature. Has this constitutional direction followed vis-a-vis -vis Jammu and Kashmir? I think our countrymen do remember that time and again, the senior leaders of the country have been telling the people of India and people of Jammu and Kashmir that Kashmir remains the crown of India. How was this crown treated? You see, our state, a historic state, and Kashmir has 5,000 years history. And then it is downgraded, it is divided, with whose consent? Long before, in 2002, in some place of Haryana, RSS held a meeting. Right. National executive, they adopted a resolution vis-a-vis -vis Jammu and Kashmir, asking the then government not to grant, not to protect the autonomy of Jammu and Kashmir. Rather, put Ladakh in the category of union territory, divide Jammu and Kashmir, and grant Jammu a separate state put, trifurcation. This is the design, and this is now when the RSS is in command in the government. This is how they are implementing that plan of dividing the people, disempowering the people, and finally erasing whatever the constitutional rights were 
provided to the people of jammu and kashmir right sir they were then i moved and yes there was there were certain promises which the government made at the time of the abrogation uh, what has happened to those promises uh, what about the development promise they talk about naya kashmir this needs to be reiterated here today and we must remind the countrymen that it was in 47 when maharaja who was the ruler in jammu and kashmir maharaja hari singh he remained reluctant to accede to india for some time it was only when the tribals came to attack us here indian army was not here at that point of time it was the then national conference workers they stood up and said we cannot accept any relationship with ours we have the tradition historical traditions we enter into relationships on our own and it is how the accession took place when maharaja asked for indian army support and he was asked to sign the documents of accession and that document of accession was followed by accompanied by another letter please look into that even maharaja wanted that accession must remain confined to the three subjects of defense communication and foreign affairs only <coughs> in the rest of the areas sovereignty must lie with the people of jammu and kashmir it is during this period that negotiations were held between government of india and the leadership of jammu and kashmir that an agreement of incorporating article 370 in the constitution of india was decided today bjp is telling and virtually falsifying the history that sardar patel was not part of it the fact remains that it was decided in 49 at his residence in delhi where pandit jawaharlal nehru sheikh mohammad abdullah and sardar patel together decided incorporating the commitments made to the people of jammu and kashmir the constitutional guarantees of the relationship providing sufficient autonomy to this historic state that is how first 306a and then 370 came into being and became the part of the constitution of india that bond has been assaulted now how can we adjust with it the we were is... having a constituent assembly in one more which was that opportunity was provided by the constituent assembly of india by incorporating a provision in the constitution of india which provided which armed the people of jammu and kashmir to have one more constituent assembly and form frame its own constitution as well that is what we did that is how today these uh, the government is talking about naya kashmir as they are claiming in the rest of the country building naya india new india by destroying the very basic structures of india modern india similarly they want to destroy the whole naya kashmir which was which came into being through the hard historic struggles where land to the tiller was first enacted in this part of the region while the peasants became masters of the toil and land where women rights were ensured where free education 
up to the university level was provided that kashmir has remained an eyesore for the sangh parivar that's what this government has done on 5th august 2019 destroyed the constitutional provision destroyed the very constitution of jammu and kashmir destroyed those very rights which were which emerged out of long struggles of the people of jammu kashmir and ladakh now we have been put in a state of silence and this silence is not voluntary this silence is not of our choice this silence is forced silence but how long this is the question which we are posing this is the question i hope the democratic opinion of the country will some day ask these people who are in authority today uh, mr tarik amit the government has two other proposals one on domicile status and the other there is talk about holding elections Uh, why are Kashmiris so conflicted and worried about the domicile uh, status change? No, it is not. You see, the question is domicile. Everything has changed because the very constitutional provisions, the very frame of uh, uh, our our future, that has been demolished. What has remained now? Otherwise, as far as the rights of land and jobs. those right. things came into being during maharaja's rule right when there were protests not in kashmir valley but in jammu kashmiri pandits here in kashmir and dogras in jammu they demanded that outsiders must not come to encroach the rights on land and jobs and then there was a notification and that notification ultimately the spirit of that was incorporated in one of the provisions of article 370 known as 35a that has been abolished now you go to jammu ask them what exactly is there is there anything to celebrate why are the jobs now even the job protection which the people had demanded which are available in other provisions of the constitution of india like article 371 for north eastern states for tribal areas for even himachal pradesh right why jammu and kashmir was targeted reasons are quite obvious and as of today they may try one thing is uh, uh, very very unique for them which only they can do it so spread lies just to hoodwink the opinion of the people but history tells us coercion suppression and any polity based on lies falsehoods cannot sustain itself for longer period the country's historic traditions will assert the people of jammu and kashmir unitedly will ask the authorities not to do more injustices not to commit more more uh, allah full acts against its own citizens in jammu kashmir and ladakh history will move on that's so, why that is how we stand by our own committee so what are your demands now what does the pagd expect from the people what uh, from the government what do the people want No, we are not you see telling you the telling you very frankly we don't expect anything you see now where should we expect anything from this government we went prime minister asked us to come we we we, we attended the meeting convened by prime minister and yes we asked in august 2019 before this abrogation took place publicly appeal to the prime minister of india don't do anything first listen to us give us a chance of hearing that opportunity was not given for the two years we were put virtually the whole population here 
under restrictions, under unlawful confinements. And then we went there. And while we, we expressed our concern, all of us, but the response was, Dilli ki dhuriya, kam hongi. Dil ki dhuriya, we have to reduce it. Mr. Prime Minister, these words are not enough. Good words, yes, but something concrete needs to be done on the ground. Since last one month, we had asked for the certain confidence building measures. All of us virtually had asked for restoration of statehood, full statehood, which was promised by Home Minister while, while initiating the discussion on the Reorganization Act. And do you know, Parliament, there was a question regarding this issue, and the answer was given by junior Home Minister and saying that state could will be restored at an appropriate time and after normalcy is restored. Now, one question we must ask this government, you have been claiming that we have done this just to restore peace in the region, normalcy. Even after two years, you are on record in the parliament telling the country that normalcy is not yet restored so statehood cannot be restored there. Now, this is the admission of the government of India, quite failure. Even on this claim of restoring peace, restoring normalcy in this region, there is no question of other issues. Our economy is shattered. Our job opportunities are nowhere seen. The developmental process is virtually halted. And only the developmental process wherever it is seen, that is in restrictions, that is arresting indiscriminately, that's what the fate of the people of Kashmir today is. And that's why, lastly, I must appeal to the people of our country, listen to us. Please, government does not listen to us, or we don't trust, they don't trust us, we don't trust them. We trust the great people of India. One day they will speak for the country and one day they will speak for the people of Jammu and Kashmir as well. Let's wait for that occasion, that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Tarigam.